Hey, what's going on, everybody? How y'all doing out there? This is uh, SEL0320. Um, here to talk about Smallville again. I love Smallville. Um, actually, I have another theory coming up again. Um, the theory surrounds Michael Rosenbaum, which we all know. Uh, for about seven years, he played Lex Luthor in Smallville. Um, there's been some looming uh, updates on his activities and correspondent to Smallville. Um, it's very interesting. I did a little bit of research, and I've been following it like all day today, but I just wanted to share it with y'all. Um, the first bit of information I just found out back when, which is in August 18, 2010, um, TV.com made an article. It was stating that Lex Luthor may be returning to CW Smallville Season 10 at some point. It said, um, E! Online recently caught up with the woman in charge of the CW Network. And um, she was doing a review, and basically what they stated was, exclusive producers and of the executive staff have left the door open for Michael Rosenbaum to return Lex Luthor. So cross your fingers, extra hard. Aside from all the Comic Con scoop, we also have known that the entire season has been planned out. And one more word from EP dropped that who described this fulfilling. So they're saying that this series is going to be filling. Me, as a Smallville fan, and probably a whole bunch of y'all out there, I know I've talked to a whole bunch of y'all, and y'all really don't feel like this is fulfilling at all. Um, the basic surroundings have been Chloe's, the basic surroundings have been not Dark Side, not Let's, just hints of stuff. And it's like, this is the half of the season, they, they are wasting time. And so, like, to me personally, just as a Smallville fan, like, Michael Rosenbaum, like, his correlation with Clark made the whole show so I don't know what they're gonna do but I really feel like Michael Rosemont should come back and so then I did a little bit more research and um, what I found out is today um, there was a new president update saying that the superheroes convention is gonna be coming up May 20th of 2011 okay now the actual listing for who's gonna be with it Erica Durant which is Lois Lane, Justin Hartley, which is Green Arrow, Oliver Queen, Cassidy Freeman, which we know is Tess Mercy, or Mercy, or Mercy Luther, which is so stupid. Anyway, the final person is Michael Rosamund. Like, but the whole aspect of this superhero convention is about Smallville. Now, think about it like this. As a producer, or as a person that is helping direct Smallville, why would you <laughs> allow Michael Rosenbaum to go to a superheroes convention about Smallville and not bring him back on the show by the end of the series? Now, I mean, the way they've been building it up from the point that there was a little Lex to now that the teenage Lex is coming up on the scene, as we saw in the last preview of um, Icarus. Okay, they're building up to the point that Lex is going to get to an older age. So, if, <laughs> if they don't bring Michael Rosenbaum back, and yet he goes to this superhero convention in May 20th, 2011, not only will he be mad at like, Smallville staff for not bringing him back, but Michael Rosenbaum as an actor, it would reflect terribly on him. I mean, I know there's a lot of people that follow him on Twitter. There's a lot of people that want him back. I've seen petitions out the buttload. Um, a large part of the reason why people want him back is because he brought a whole different dynamic to the show. Um, his brotherly, I guess, I don't know, it was like, when you think about Clark, you think about Lex at the same hand. They come from different backgrounds, but at the same time, they have huge destinies that they both couldn't understand at the beginning of the series. And then it started fulfilling, and at some point, they started losing track of themselves and start losing touch with themselves and clashing and of course we all know this is going to be the most ultimate like nemesis versus superhero thing and uh, it unfolded but at the same time it's like who is Clark really up against now other than himself no one I mean he went up against Zod it was like he did a really good job like, that's why I like season 9 but at the same time it wasn't on the level that Margaret Rosenbaum put like, I put it this way, like, there's a lot of people out there that are like, okay, 
What is Clark doing now? I mean, Dark Side is here. He's fought Bizarro. He's fought Zod. He fought Doomsday. But who out of all the villains stands out the most? Because they put such a good foundation for how Moses Rivera did his role. Um, he's the most present villain on TV. Like, in all honesty, like, there's not too many other villains that I know um, on TV. Um, I can name a few, but to me, he holds the most role. Um, what I'm probably going to do is start trying to tweet that dude. I'm like, come on, Mike Rosemont. Like, come on, we need you back. Um, there's another thing that I'm going to show you in the uh, second half of this video. Um, basically, it surrounds um, it's an insurgents convention. Um, it was done back in October 2010. Um, and um, I'll give the actual clip and then I'll continue the rest of my video um, but basically what happens is in um, at this convention Michael Rosenbaum is there with the people from um, Vampire Diaries um, this is when CW was just starting them out and I mean Vampire Diaries is seriously good now. I don't look at it personally but I know um, but he was there and the crowd started asking them some interesting questions. And I'll let you listen to it um, on the second half of this video. But hold on one second. Here it comes. The convention was like a class meeting for him. On stage with Michael Rosenbaum, he could take a trip down memory lane. He was my uh, right hand man. Remember that, Ben? Yeah. You did anything I wanted. <laughs> on and <laughs> off camera. Speaking of Smallville, there was one question that the Lex Luthor actor had to answer over and over again during the whole weekend. You're going to ask me if, if I'm coming back to Smallville. You know, that's a, that's a tough question. It's, I, you know, I don't know. Um, we've tried to work things out. I don't know if they're going to work out. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. I, I never say no to anything. I don't, you know, I'm open. It just has to work out right. It has to be right. So if you know if that happens, I miss the I miss the guys. I love the crew and cast. Had a great time. I was, I was there for seven years. A lot of people don't realize, but I was there seven years. Um, you know, I thought I was finished. But who knows? We, we never know. Are you going to be in the last season of Smallville? Of course. I knew I should not have come to her. <laughs> it was a mistake I that I regret. Yes, he calls me all the time. He takes me out to dinner. I'm like, wow, this is really nice. Tom's never taken me to dinner before. And then he's like, so you're going to come back after I've had like six drinks. I'm like, I don't know. I will talk about it. Why are you bringing this up, man? He said, come on, Mike. Shave your head. Come back with twerk. Okay, y'all. That was the video. Um, but yeah, I mean, like Michael Roosevelt said. He says, personally, and I quote, he never knows. You never know what could possibly happen. He really misses the crew, which I know he does. He probably doesn't miss getting his head shaved every single day. That's probably the main thing that he's like, probably if he came back and they had to shave his head, that'd be a good stipulation. Um, we know that Tom Welling and some of the producers have been trying to get him back. I honestly think that they're doing some stuff down like on the sneak, on the low low. Like I honestly think they've been constant contact with him. Um, reason why I say that is because they wouldn't just sit there and allow this man <laughs> to go to this convention and at the same time, like people know about it ahead of time and people build up anticipation and then they potentially lose like a fan base and like DVD sales down the line because we all know that I mean it takes a year for the DVD sales to come out if this final season is not epic people are not gonna buy it. I mean it's just like um I used to look at the TV series One Tree Hill and I'm not gonna go into this yet but I mean for a whole six seasons I loved it because they kept the dynamics of the characters and they kept certain characters there as soon as they removed them they changed the whole storyline to something totally different and I didn't buy any more boxes after that. I was like, screw the show. I don't, I don't like it anymore. Um, even though this is the final season of Smallville, like, at the same time, they would lose these sales because they would lose the same fan base. Um, would people buy it? Yeah, but it wouldn't be as booming as it could be. I really think that they should, and I think they are. This is just a theory. Bring, they're going to bring Michael Rosenbaum back. I don't know if it's for the final episode. I really hope it's not. 
I really think that they should at least spend five episodes or three at least um, with him back and just see what they, they can run with it. Because, I mean, if it's good enough, what they can end on is a note like a Metropolis movie, like a, a actual Smallville short, like two hour, two hour and a half long movie. And just end it on that note. Like, end it with him back. Where is Clark going to go from here? He's got the most ultimate villain back. He can't kill him. He's to the point now he's Superman. He has a destiny before him, but he can't just take a life. He, he's who he's supposed to be. Truth, honor, justice, the American way. Um, glasses. Personality change. Two different photo things. All this stuff prevented from him. Okay, do you just really end the series just like that? Or do you just like make it on a good note and clean slate? And then just finishing the movie. I personally think that's all they need to do. Um, to bring Michael Rosenbaum back, would it shake things up? Yeah, it would. It would change the whole dynamic of the show because certain characters or certain things that people hold present, they're like, man, screw this. Michael Rosenbaum back. Yes, I want to see him in every episode. But that's not going to be the case. But I think to turn the show back to what we love about the show, like, I don't know if you ever seen the Dark Knight movie. Um, Dark, uh, Batman, he presented and said that people need things to shake them out of empathy. Um, I think that was actually Batman Begins, I'm sorry. Um, but he said that he needs dramatic things to actually shake them out, to bring them back to the light. But what be the most dramatic thing than to bring Mike Rosenbaum back? Lex Luthor himself. Like, I honestly, I mean, there's other people that have been looking at uh, Luthor and just the way Tom Wilson carried himself. It reminds you of Michael Rosemont, even though we haven't seen him in years. Just the way he carried himself. Like, it was all him. And um, people miss that. Like, I know y'all miss that. Um, I'm really interested in hearing y'all's comments. Um, I'm going to start probably making reviews back again uh, whenever the show comes back on. But I really want to hear what y'all have to say about it. Like, I honestly think, just, just in these three articles, there's, there's been a lot of different stuff. You check on IMDb, there's a lot of different fluxes of different things and like Michael said yes, he said no, he said yes, he said no um, but for the most part he's been pretty open about it and just with him going to this convention like I really feel like they're gonna put him back in some kind of way um, but I want to see what y'all theories about it is and thanks for checking us out y'all take care, peace